Romverse, Power Rangers, Lightning Collection, Blue Centurion, Green Ranger, Yellow Ranger, Speed Review, Ginyu Squad, Let's Go, Articulation. Starting off with the Yellow Ranger here. Beast Morpher Zoe Reeves has a nice head swivel. Hair is made out of a rubbery plastic. Gets out of the way, but no tilts up, little tilt down. Nice hinge and swivel at the torso. Bunny ears. Decent T-pose, solid pinless double elbows. And hey, look at this, a butterfly joint. Take note, Marvel Legends. A slit in the skirt for a nice sidekick. Double jointed kick back. Swivel at the thigh. Swivel at the boot. So, you and me. Turtle and the hair. Ugh. Accessories. She comes with a karate chop hand. And a fist. Two lucky rabbit foot claw hands. And a laser sword. See, I got gauntlet too. I can be a Power Ranger, right? All right, time out. Gripe fest. This is my first major problem with the windowless box. It's supposed to come with a blue effect and shoulder strap holster things. Box had no damage, tape was in place, bags were sealed. These accessories are missing. Come on, guys. I mean, she's flashy enough, but, eh, but too cartoony to be a Power Ranger. Moving over to Blue Centurion. This Turbo Ranger gets a nice side to side. Again, no tilts up, no tilt down. Hinged abs and a swivel at the chest. Nice, easy range of motion. Prowl. What happened? What happened to you? Easy T-pose, nice double elbows. And the shoulder pad doesn't get in the way of the butterfly and moves with the arm, even though it's a separate piece. Easy peasy. An average sidekick, nothing crazy. Nothing crazy kick back. The leg rotates a bit and a boot swivel too. Holy cow, Prowl. Now that's a police transformer. Centurion has a lot of translucent parts, and it carries over the effect nicely, but it would have been better if you could shine a light through them, giving off some police light vibes. LED customizers will have a field day. Hmm, I sense a motif. Accessories. It comes with an itty bitty tiny little transponder, which does fit into his hand. Dang it. Which does fit into his hand. So be careful not to lose that thing. He's got swappable holsters on his thigh, which fit his accessories nicely. They just pop right out, swap out, pop back in, and stay in place. Or, you know, you could use it as a cup holder. He's got his multi-tool, big old police baton, and a blaster with a blast effect. Pew pew. Comes with two brawler fists and a couple of trigger fingers. Your move, creep. And lastly, the Green Ranger. No tilt up, no tilt down. Exact same movement as the Yellow Ranger, which makes sense because they keep copy pasting the exact same buck for all these figures. Hey, hey, nice silver robot looking arm. And you know, I'm all for the copy paste reuse. Something that their Star Wars and Marvel Legends line can really use. Enough of this half measure shriek bod. Overall decent movement, nice extra swivel at the boot. Raptor Ranger. Accessories. She comes with a giant sword with a handle and a lightning effect. The face sculpt is decent, but the paint gives her a bit of a cross-eyed derp look. Comes with a couple of Kamehameha hands and air quote hands. Hasbro's really got this lightning collection dialed in. Most of the figures are 90% reuse, just palette swapped with a new head, and you know, it works. Silver Centurion is a nice new mold and is fun to play with. Since these two are heavy reuse, six, six, and eight out of 10. This is Robert's Toys, subscribe, we'll see you next time.